Chivos here, bring you another Football Manager video, and today it is time for Football Manager 2017. I am pumped. If you are, make sure you smash the like button. Now let's get into it. What is this? This is Melbourne Victory. This is my local team, if you'd like to call them good old Melbourne Victory. Now, we do see ourselves in a bit of a predicament here. We do have the likes of... Uh, Melbourne City, who've been taken over by uh, the, the owners who own Manchester City. We have the likes of Sydney FC, Western Sydney Wanderers. And uh, you can, you've got to include Brisbane Raw as well. They are a strong side. Now, if you are a subscriber of the channel, you will know that I have actually been to A-League games before. Perth Glory versus uh, Newcastle Jets. And it was earlier this. Um, it was last year now. It's 2017. Come on. But uh, anyway... Melbourne Victory. Let's get into it. It's Football Manager 2017. And what is in store for today? So let's see. First of all, you will see... You know, I'm going to take on the Melbourne Victory youths. I've got to get used to the squad. The squad lines up as it is. This is what we're looking at. We have Lawrence Thomas, Jason Jerry, Nick Ansel, Alan Barrow, Stefan Negro, Lee Broxham, Captain Carl Valeri. We have the Wonder Kid Marco Rojas. We have Oli Bazanic, James Triwisi, and leading the line is, in real life, the A-League top goal scorer, Bessart Borussia. Now, Alistair Bray, our backup goalkeeper, he's not amazing. He's 23, he'll do a job. We have a bit of depth, but I am looking to offload some players. Speaking of offloading players, here are the, uh, the, the two guys I'm looking at actually bringing in. The first one, Haggy Gligor. Uh, a, a central midfielder, more or less, I'm, I'm looking for a defensive midfielder. He's 21, he can develop a little bit. He's one for the future. If I can get him in, then that will be one thing to look at. And the other player we have here is uh, Mastronunzio uh, Salvatore. Now, quite a decent striker. We do lack striking options, and you see this guy here. Uh, check his career stats. Syria, not, not, not featured, you know. Uh, actually, I'll lie. He's featured twice, if you see here. But mainly Serie B and Serie C. Uh, hit his peak, what, four years ago now? Well, not even. You know, he missed three years of football. So uh, so there you go. He, he's done all right to come back. Three goals. You know, we need a backup striker. It's that simple. We need a backup striker. He looks like he's going to be our option. One thing to note about the Hyundai A-League. We have contract and registration information. Now, with the A-League, you need to know, we do have some rules. We have a salary cap. It ruins the league, but it tries to make it fair for all teams. Now, the rules have been changed this year because of the introduction of Tim Cahill. I'm not going to argue it. It is a bit of a joke, but it is football, and that's the way things work. Now, here we go. These are the, the main rules you have to look at. So, plays on designated contracts are exempt from the salary cap, so you get two designated players. Um, the the board determine whether the player is sufficient quality to warrant a designated place. Uh, as I said, you can have two per side. I think one is Bessart Borussia. The other could be um, Alan Barrow or even uh, Fahid Ben Kalfala. I'm not quite sure. Um, the player is aged 23, younger, and holds citizenship. They might also qualify for homegrown status. And should they be signed from the youth team or the Australian Centre of Excellence, the COE, which is one of the development places in Australia. Um, you can have a, a homegrown wages of 1700 which are exempt from the salary cap. I don't know, it's all confusing, but I tell you now, you've got teams in New Zealand. You get This is the Tim Cahill rule we need to look at, though. Clubs can also sign one guest player per season that can play up to 27 consecutive matches in the regular season. Now, this used to only be 10. You know, uh, the likes of David Villa, when he came over and played for Melbourne City, uh, he had the same sort of deal. You could only play 10 matches. But now, Tim Cahill, they've brought it in. He can play 27, so that's what they're doing. They can play in the finals too, provided they play four matches in the regular season and if they're still at the club when the season's over. Now, on top of this, you can sign a mature-age rookie. It must be 21. And you have... 
just money coming out our bums. But anyway, the tactic. Now, let's look at the tactic. We've got Trewisi and Rojas, left and right wingers. These two guys are going to be key. Now, we have Barisha up top. These guys are going to link the crosses to Barisha, you know, the A Lee leading goal scorer. We have Bazanic playing in an advance. Roll, hoping he can get further up the pitch, add some goals to his game. Valeria and Broxham cover the center of the pitch. A strong, solid back four. Lawrence Thomas in goal. I do have the faith in him. He's a good goal keeper. A quick look at the club background now. You see here, Melbourne Victory have won three A-League final series. We've also won three A-League regular seasons, one FFA Cup, and one Australian pre-season cup. Who cares about it? Not me, I'll tell you that. But the FFA Cup is a big one. You know, it is the equivalent to the FA Cup in England. We also have the A-League regular season, and then you play your finals afterwards. And eventually get into the Asian Champions League, which is another thing we can talk about in just a minute. But as you can see, founded in 2004, we play at M Melbourne Rectangular Stadium, as it's called here. But you can call it Amy Park if you'd like to. It makes it much, much easier. Now, we have impressive training facilities and good youth facilities. So I'm hoping we can use these, develop a bit of depth, and achieve what we want to which you guys don't even know yet. Competition-wise, this is how we look. We have the A-League regular season. It hasn't even started. We've got 100 days left to go. Plenty of time for recruitment. We have the Asian Champions League. We're in the quarterfinal. First league against Guangzhou Evergrande. Now, we know the Asian the Asian leagues are spending money like crazy in real life. You know, look at the likes of uh, who, who's just gone over, Axel Witzel, Oscar. These guys are eventually going to feature. You know, this is what we've got to look at. The Chinese are part of Asia. Their league's gonna kill us. But can we win the Asian Champions League? That's my that's my goal. The goal is to win the Asian Champions League for the first time for Melbourne Victory. If we don't do it, it's gonna be disappointing. But I'm sure there's gonna be league after league that we can win because we are, what, one of the best teams in Australia. Now depth wise, this is one place we have to look at. We have Bessar Borussia starting up top. We don't have a secondary striker. This is why I'm trying to bring in um, I can't even remember his name now. But as you see, we've got Maxi Bicer, who is on loan, mind you. We don't have him forever. But he's more a winger. You know, Fahid Ben Kelfella, once again a winger. We've only got Bez up top. If he gets red carded or injured, we could be in some serious, serious trouble now. If you look further down the pitch here, left and right back, a bit shy. Don't get me wrong, we are a bit shy. But we do have the likes of Thomas Deng, who's out on loan at PSV at the moment. One player who could develop into something incredible. But uh, we do have to see what happens there. You know, he's out on loan. We're not going to have him for the first season. But we'll see where he can go after after his year. You know, he's only 19. Plenty of time to develop. The schedule so far. Now, I have not played any of these games. These are all pre-existing. My first game in charge will be against the Melbourne Victory Youths. I'm not going to show you that. We do... Well, we are covering quite a lot today, so that's one thing we do have to look at. But we did cruise through the Champions League group quite easy. We did also get through the second round. Now, as you can see, the Champions League quarterfinal against Guangzhou isn't until September. We've got the FFA Cup first round against Melbourne City. That's right, rivals Melbourne City on the 2nd of the 8th. Luckily enough for us, the FFA Cup is not important to the board, but I would still like to win it, you know. A trophy is a trophy. It will... Keep the supporters happy, which is one thing we do need to look at. But Fortuna 60. Now, this is one thing I'd like to point out here. Krennigan South Reserve. Now, Fortuna 60 are a team I actually used to play against when I was a child. Can't believe it. You know, we're playing a friendly against them. Melbourne Victory, team I used to play against as a kid. It's almost a dream come true. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You know, let, let me live the moment. I said more. I bring you to the boring bits, the staff screen, the medical side. We're not too bad. We're almost the best in the A-League. Scouting side, we're all right. And you see also, coaching-wise, goalkeeping, we're great. Fitness-wise, we're great. Man management, we're great. We do lack in other areas. One thing we can improve, but we do need to make some money. And speaking of money, i show you the finances. Now here, we have an overall balance of £3.9 million. We're in the green, I'll tell you now. We are doing very well. Profit this month, £174,000. It's not amazing, but it's still better than nothing. Income this month, expenditure this month. These are all going to change. The season hasn't started. Don't forget that. But we are one of the best teams in Melbourne. 
uh, in the league, sorry, we are the best team in Melbourne. But we're not the best teams in the league. The other thing you need to look at is we're in the Champions League. That's going to generate some revenue. We have a large stadium that is also going to generate some revenue. Things are looking good for us for the future. But we do have a salary cap. We do have a limit on the wages spent, so we can't always sign the best players. Do take this into consideration because who knows what's going to unfold down in this series. And finally, I'll show you me. Before we go, let's have a look at this. Now, I'm earning 3.1K a week. Who cares? I'm not worried about my pay. I have chosen to uh, go with my coaching badges recommended to Melbourne Victory. It seemed to fit the Let's Play. Now, as you can see, attacking's at 12, uh, 11's all across the board, and motivating only at 10. Now, scouting-wise, I only know Australia. It's not a positive. We do need to fix this, but I'm sure we will. We have plenty of time, as I said. I'm only 22. Look at that, I'm only 22. We still have plenty of time to go. Now, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I don't know. We need to win the Champions League. That is the key. So you do go here. Champions League, this is the big task. Western Sydney Wanderers won it in 2014. As you can see, no other Australian team has won it. Western Sydney Wanderers have. Are we going to be the second team to win the Asian Champions League? That is one of my goals. Well, the ultimate goal is win the Asian Champions League, beat the Asian powerhouses, and let's just see what can happen. But that is going to be it for today. If you're excited, please smash that like button. Subscribe to see more of the Melbourne Victory Series. Don't forget, I am back. I am here. Hopefully, we can get some videos out in succession. And I will catch you guys on another video. Well, that's a weight off my shoulders. I'm back.